Well, I'm Brian Reagan. This is Tyler Kelly. And we greet you on this Tuesday morning from Matthew chapter 6, verse 12. Tyler. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Okay. So I, mean, I thought that was supposed to be trespasses. Forgive us our debts. Forgive us our trespasses. Forgive us our sins. Would you like to receive forgiveness of debts? Forgive what other people owe you. But they owe me. Right. Go back to yesterday's lesson. Read the rest of that chapter. Mm -hmm. Those who receive forgiveness continue to forgive others who in proportion don't owe them near as much as what they've been forgiven of. Number one. Number two, here's a principle. Forgive us as we forgive. Forgive the debt. Forgive the debtor. Just write it off, let it go, and move on as though there was never a debt in the first place. Mm -hmm. Why? Because that's what you want for you. So if your uncle Charlie owes you 50 bucks from two years ago, just forgive it and let it go. It's been two years. Has it really been worth the headache over what comes to $2 a month? I mean, seriously, 50 cents a week. You've been upset and had trouble sleeping over 50 cents a week. Let it go. He said, well, when you say it like that, it's really not that much. That's kind of the point. Well, what if it's 10,000? Well, you had 10,000 to give. And you've still been fine and you've lived and survived without the 10,000. Mm -hmm. Let it go. Let other people's debts go so that your own debt can be released from you. It is just one of those spiritual laws that it just works that way. So let it go. Other thoughts, my brother? No, sir. With Adam Brian Reagan, this is Tyler Kelly. I bid you good day.